Okay. Hey guys, quick exoskeleton update. So I've been uh, cleaning up the garage, tidying it up. Really, I still just only moved in, but it's starting to look like a workspace, which I think is awesome. Uh, I got some exciting news, actually. A British TV show is flying over to interview me tomorrow. Uh, the show is called Outrageous Acts of Science, and they want to see me use the exoskeleton. And I've got a fun little demonstration plan for it. Not using weights. Um, since my last video, I ordered those parts from the, uh, the compressor company, uh, Horn Blasters. And that package came in, so let's take a look. I should probably not be open. <laughs> let's see what we got. Alright, look at that. Uh, that's a three gallon air compressor tank, so that'll be mounted on the back of the exoskeleton in addition to the uh, small scuba diving tank, which should be about the same size. Uh, here's the important part. Uh, look at that. Wow, that's, that's bigger than I thought it was. So this is a constant duty um, DC air compressor, so it runs off 12 volts and it's good to run at a 100% duty cycle and it can output 200 psi which with my exoskeleton, those cylinders uh, that means it could lift even more weight I think it could curl 350 pounds then because I was only running at 125 psi before so it'll be a bit of an upgrade uh, let's see pressure blow off valve so you put that in the tank and if for some reason somehow the compressor puts out more than 200 psi, this thing blows at 215, and that's just a safety precaution so the tank doesn't rupture. Uh, we got a pressure switch, that's what tells the air compressor to turn on. All the assorted hoses and stuff for it. Uh, air filter. What else we got? Ah, some solenoid valves. So this big sucker will serve as one of my main air switches, so this will be connected in line with the tank to all the uh, the valve banks, so this is basically your main power on and off. Um, some more components. What else do we have in here? Uh, another solenoid valve, a bit smaller. Another one. This one's big. Another big one. And I think that's about it. But yeah, that's uh, most of the stuff we'll need for the air compressor system. Now I just need to get the scuba diving tank and the high pressure air compressor. But that won't be actually attached to the exoskeleton. So, can't wait to test some of this stuff out. But for now, I gotta get ready for the interview tomorrow. So, Hacksmith signing out. Wish me luck.